Hi, and welcome to Outdoor Training. In this movie, I will show you tips and tricks and the do's and don'ts for limbing and cross-cutting. So always be aware if you work with the tip of the bar. This means the highest risk for the kickback is when you use the top 90 degrees of the bar tip. Familiarize yourself with the chain break. That means take a stable position, disengage the chain break, start cutting, and the first thing before you start moving with the chainsaw is activating the chain break. Also, when you need to remove branches before you take your left hand away from the front handle, always activate the chain break. This to avoid accidents by cutting in your left hand. Only move forward when between you and the chainsaw is the log. If not, activate the chain brake and move further on with the chain brake engaged. Never use the chainsaw behind your body when removing branches. As you know, type A and B don't have the blocking material on the rear side. So always use the chainsaw during limbing on the side or a little bit ahead of you. When you do the limbing, Try to work as ergonomic as possible. Make use of a braking bar with a hook so you can turn around the log in an ergonomic way. Always look at the tree where the tension is so you don't get stuck with your chainsaw during cross cutting or limbing. And when cross cutting, don't bend your back but bend your knees to get a stable position while cross cutting and avoid that your chain gets dull by hitting the soil. 